Hello there, YouTube family. We're gonna be talking about April favorites today, the makeup that I really loved since I was able to wear makeup a little bit more this month. I just wanna share with you what I've been really loving. Yes, I do have a pretty bold lip on compared to what I normally do. That is a Flower Beauty lipstick. The makeup that I'm wearing will be listed below. And just so you guys know, I am having a video come out on my favorite beauty products from Flower. So this lipstick is in that video as well. Just a little teaser there for you guys. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon next to it so that you can be notified of any future videos I'm having. So you guys, I do have a lot here to talk about today. So we need to get into the video, but I wanted to tell you guys that what I did with this video, there is a little bit more high-end things that I really like in here because I know that this is a Fora VIB sale as the spring VIB sale still going on and that there are were some things in my recommendations video that I didn't get to talk about. So if at any time through this video you do like what you see, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really does help me. Let's get into the products. Okay, the first thing that I wanna show you is this huge bottle of makeup fixer from Ofra. This says that it is a light refreshing mist that keeps makeup in place all day long. And I have really found that that's the case. I like the smell of it. I think it's just as good. I'm going out on a limb here, but I think it's just as good as the all-nighter from Urban Decay. But this is only like $16, you guys. This is a limited edition. So if this is something that interests you, jump on that bandwagon. It is sold at Ulta only. Okay, I did a powder video this month and it was all about powders. I'll try to link these below or in cards for you guys so that you can know what I'm talking about. It was all about finishing powders. So not a setting powder, but an actual powder that either would make you glowy or dewy. And I talked about this Flower Beauty Satin Powder. Um, and this is so good. This rivals any high-end powder that I've ever had. So there it is right there. It's not like it is a clear powder. It is translucent though when you get it on your skin. It's not gonna, I don't wanna waste any. Gotta get on my brush here. It's not going to show up any color on your face or anything like that. But this just, it's the soft dusting that's a blurring effect. And you can wear this as your finishing powder, but you can also set with this if you want a more dewy look. So say you have a very matte foundation and you're feeling like you look a little bit blah, dusting this all over your face as your finishing powder, oh, so good. Okay, my Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. This has four sections in it that is like a color correcting type thing right there. And what I love about it is not only the consistency is so light, so airy. Of course, this one is along the lines of being a little lighter. So for me during the winter when my skin really lacks luster or brightness or anything, this is so nice. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a satin finish. This isn't like a finish where you're gonna get a lot of glow of out at all, but as a finishing powder, even a powder that you really lightly dust under your eyes. If you have a really emollient concealer, then this is really great for that. And I wanted to mention this one again. Okay, I didn't talk about any hair care products in the video for the VIB sale. I do wanna mention just one that I really love and it's from Dry Bar and it's called Triple Sec. It's the three in one texturize, volumize, and refreshes. And I love this stuff, you guys. I've, I use it as my dry shampoo, and I use it if I just want a lot of volume or a lot of texture in my hair, and my hair's kind of laying flat, you know, second day hair or whatever. Not only does it refresh it like a dry shampoo would, but it also helps give a ton of volume to it. So I just lift this up and, you know, kind of spray wherever you feel like you need extra volume or anything. And it really does give that pretty piecey look to your hair. And yeah, I really like that one and it has a terrific smell to it too. I need to mention this in just about every favorites video that I do, especially now that we're into summer, is my, my Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Sunscreen with an SPF of 70. This is such a fantastic consistency to go under makeup. It's straight, just super, super watery liquid. But then when you get it on your skin, it just goes in so quick. No dry time to it hardly at all. It sinks in like a dream. So I am just absolutely loving this stuff. I will not be without it. It's perfect to do on top of your moisturizer because it doesn't add another coat to your face at all. I. I've bought countless amounts of tubes of this, especially for my face and my neck area. And of course I do it in the back of my hands. And it's nice and it's not huge that you can carry it in your purse, but it goes a long ways too. So definitely wanted to talk about that. 
Another thing that I want to talk about, I talked about this in last month's um, favorites video, and I want to talk about it again. This is the X Lash Lash Growth Serum. You guys, I have never in my life experienced what I'm experiencing with my eyelashes. I'm going to get really close, but I, and I'm not crazy about the mascara I used today. I was testing out a new one, but this has made my eyelashes grow like... I've never had them grow before. So this is the double size. This will last me anywhere from uh, six months plus. If you pay for the double size, you actually do get a $20 savings versus uh, buying the two tubes of the single size. So that's what I did is I bought the double size and I know that it's gonna last me a long time. So I don't have a problem with that. And you only use this once a day. So you don't have to think about it. It's just part of your skincare routine at night. So in love with that, you guys. I didn't talk about a foundation or a concealer in that video for the Sephora favorites either, but you guys, I have really fallen in love with the NARS Radiant, Natural Radiant Longwear uh, Foundation. I have it in the color DeVille, the and the wear on this is so beautiful. NARS has the best formulas that I've ever tried in foundations. Their All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation is my forever favorite. I will get that over and over again, but I've been using this one up and I really like it. It is really, really light and super easy to blend in. Doesn't show any texture on my aging skin and it lasts all day. And so I just feel like it's the best of all worlds. I need coverage. I need something to be a little lighter so it doesn't settle all over into those fine lines and wrinkles. So really am in love with that foundation. And then I also want to recommend to you the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is really, really good, you guys. I find that I don't have to set this with any sort of a powder or anything, but the coverage on it is really good. So I just start out with a very tiny bit and I build it up. And that's another thing that I love about it is that it's very buildable, but it doesn't cause me to have any creasing and it doesn't look super dry unless I do use powder on it. Now I can't use powder on it, but that I'm finding in almost all of my concealers. I can't really use powder now as we get into the summer months, that might change. But right now I'm just really in love with that and I wanted to recommend it to you guys while the sale is still going on. Another thing that I wanted to recommend for this sale, um, and I actually just got this you guys, this is from Fenty Beauty and this is their glass bomb and I think this one is in fuzzy. When I ordered this, I only did that because everybody was raving about it and I'm like, there cannot be that big of a fuss about a lip gloss. Well, you guys, <laughs> There is. I really think this is a really beautiful, fun lip gloss. It's not like it has a super amount of pigment in it at all. It's just kind of sheer. This one is the one that had a little bit more pink to it. That's why I got it. They have a clear, and then I think they have more of a rose color. They're just, it's really pretty. It has a fantastic fragrance to it. It's like a watermelon fragrance, which is a bonus, but it's got just a tiny bit of little reflex in it that sparkle and shine. And I am really liking that. So I will be on the hunt for a dupe. You guys know I will, but the hype is real about it, you guys. So I wanted to make sure that I told you about that. This right here is the Sephora makeup tape or the guide tape. If you guys have watched any of my tutorials, you know that I usually put tape right here to get that crisp line right there to help my makeup not only stay in this area right here, I don't have to use a wipe to you know make it look sharp or anything like that. And the other thing that it does is if I want to go smoky and get a cat eye, I can put that dark color right out there and it draws that up without having to do a winged liner, which I can't do to save my life. It's really inexpensive and here it is right here. And so this is the end of my last one. That's why I bought a new one. But I just pull off a piece of it. You know, it tears off really easy and then it comes out from behind there. It's split, comes off really easy. Um, and then you put it on and it's just really great. And a lot of people have asked me, does it tug? Yes. Yes. So if you have a problem with, you know, things tugging and sticking and it, it hurts or anything, stick it on the back of your hand, pull it up and then put it up there because it's still going to be sticky and good, but it won't be so uh, bad that it tugs. So that's just my little tip there. But yes, this is something that I buy every year on, on the sale because I go through it like crazy. Okay. The only palette that I want to talk about in this video is my Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. I love this palette and you guys right now, while the spring and summer months are coming on. This palette is so much fun. I'll tell you what I've been doing with it. Um, I do have it on today. Um, I have another palette on with it, but this palette has so many pretty colors. And you guys are probably going, oh, I will never wear that color, never wear that color. Okay, here's what I want you to think about. 
I want you to think about your most neutral palette and if you are somebody that has been wanting to step out into the world of color eyeshadow, this is what I would tell you to do. Go ahead and pick this one up and take any of these little bit more muted, not too muted, but a little bit more muted colors and see about just popping one of those colors onto your lid and then doing your regular neutral color. And that's what I have on today. I have this color right here. It's all over my lid. And then I put it just a little bit in the bottom or on my bottom lash line down there. So pretty, you guys. These are, these shadows are next level shadows. I don't say that lightly because I can't afford to do like Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath or Tom Ford. Even Marc Jacobs is a little bit, you know, too expensive for me, um, that kind of thing. But I personally don't feel like the need is there to have any of those. The shadows in here are soft, they're buttery, they last a long time, they are vibrant, they blend like a dream. They're just next level, like I said. So I would highly recommend you get this. And the nice thing about it, this is the big one. The one that they're selling at, so at Ulta, excuse me, right now, is the one that is the mini size. So it's about this big right here. Honestly, for spring and summer, that is my favorite palette ever for spring and summer. So definitely love that. Okay, I wanted to tell you guys about the Maybelline Master Camel in yellow. You guys hear me talk about the orange one all the time from my dark circles. I believe in that wholeheartedly. But when I started to self tan, I started to notice that my dark spots or my age spots right around my jawline right here were starting to show really bad. And that's what happens when I self tan that gets a little bit more pigment where the pigment already is. The yellow seems to cancel out that brown spot. I don't know why, but it seems to help brighten it up. And so I wanna recommend that to you guys if you're dealing with you know, brown spots or age spots. Um, I even have some scarring that are dark and I put those on there and I then I put my makeup on top of it. And what I do is I, I dab it on exactly where it is and I let it kind of sit there. I'll just tap it like this in a circular motion to blend it in a little bit and love that stuff for taking care of those dark, dark spots. Okay, you guys ask me all the time, what is on your fingernails? And nine times out of 10, you guys, it is Zoya. This brand has taken over my heart as, as far as fingernails go. And I'm gonna show you what my favorite shades are. So this one is Hudson. It is a really kind of silvery purple color, lavender color. Love that one, it does have some sparkle in it. All these are gonna have sparkle in it or, or metallic sheen or something in them because that's just me, you guys. Um, this one is Prim. It is a blue with a silver sheen on it and it's so, so pretty, you guys. And then these two are like what I use like toppers. This one right here is called Leslie. It is kind of a really pale lavender with a blue and green shift to it. So I use this as a topper on a really dark nail polish to give it like a chromatic look to it. Love that one. And then this one is Leah. This one I love because I can put it on top of any of my pink, purple, any of those colors, and it brightens them to this beautiful duochrome pinkish color, but it also takes on the tone of whatever your fingernails have on them underneath. So those are probably my four favorite. I found Zoya about three, four years ago, something like that. And I signed up for their newsletter or their emails. And you guys, they have the best sales. Now these I all got for $5 each because they were having their program earlier in the year where um, they are they do a nail swap where you can send your old nail polish in and you get these half price. Normally $10, I got them for five. They go on sale all the time. So make sure that you sign up for their newsletter and get that. Okay. And one more thing is the Milani Conceal and Perfect new concealer that they have. You guys, I had this in that video that I did on concealers and I just have really kind of fallen in love with this one. I don't have to set it with any powder or anything like that. It just really sets itself down and I really like that because you know my under eyes are so dry anyway. But at the same time, I can look in the mirror a little bit later and go, okay, you're still good. You know, you're still covering good. So I do really like that about That's it. That's it, you guys. I know that it was a longer video, but I wanted to include those things that I wanted to recommend in addition to the other Sephora v VIB sale. Like I said, I will try to list that in a card or down below so that you guys can see that. And I should have a Sephora VIB sale playlist that I can show you guys too. And you can go back and look on any of the past videos that I have had recommendations. So thank you guys all 
all for giving me a part of your time. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help and I appreciate it so very much. Guys, I hope that you're all having a really great day and take care of yourselves and I will see you in my very next video. Bye you guys.